cabinet to the surprise of many. So why was he sacked just weeks after taking the oath of office? Umaru Fofana has been finding out. A learned lawyer with charisma and oratory to many. But for many others, Charles Francis Maga is a loose canon of a character who will quarrel even in an empty room. His appointment as Attorney General and Minister of Justice was as surprising as his summary dismissal has been. So why did he become the shortest-lived Attorney General in the history of Sierra Leone? Mohamed Rahman Suari is the Information Minister. His Excellency has been very passionate about sanitizing the judiciary, which he knows and which everybody else knows is fraught with a lot of challenges. In his state opening of Parliament, he said he was committed to transforming the judiciary into a world-class institution that will enjoy the trust and confidence of the people. Mr. Charles Francis Magai was charged with that responsibility. In the opinion of the president, he did not seem to rise to the challenge two months on in office. Isn't two months a short period for the president to have assessed him and fired him? Two months may look a short period, but by that time we expect a blueprint, a roadmap to begin the transformation. And I understand he was also giving direct orders to judges. We have had every kind of thing, including veiled threats, veiled intimidations, but that's neither here nor there. But we simply want decorum restored to the judiciary. Do you not think this calls into question the president's judgment? So I've appointed somebody who less than two months down the line, not worthy of the job. Well, I think what this brings to the table is that you have a president who is quite happy to review decisions, who is quite happy to learn from mistakes, who has heeded the clarion call of women to appoint more women into positions of trust. That woman attorney general is Dr. Priscilla Schwartz. She becomes the first female holder of the position. Not much is known about her in public, but she's a towering figure in academic circles. Ironically, sources say it was Mr. Magai who took her CV to the president for possible appointment to head the country's law school. The man, not known to be phlegmatic, has not responded to my several telephone calls and SMSs. And there is little sympathy for him on social media and on the streets of Freetown. The sacking of Charles Magai is timely because the new direction we are pursuing forward, we are not reversing. Because Charles Magai, I, did, I didn't think he is ready for work with the new direction. Any ministry have to submit a product. I give them a timeline, and this is a timeline I think that any ministry have to be submitted. Any ministry that cannot get that capacity to deliver, I think he can watch that area. He is the, the, our president. I think anything, any step he takes, he has the right. Well, the shacking of Charles Magai is, who can't say it's correct, who can't say it's not correct, because we don't know why they shack the man. Until I know why they shack the man, then I'll support the shacking. But I will be neutral. I won't say yes, that I know. I guess one insurance will be given to the man. They should have warned him, you say? Yeah, they should have warned Charles Magai. As for me, I can say it's a decision of the president. I do, We actually don't know what is the problem, what is the matter. But uh, I can say it's too early to shack uh, the Anthony General and Minister of Justice. Many say this is the end of the political career of the 72-year-old who has run for president on three occasions. It was his endorsement that brought the former president Anas by Kromato power 10 years ago. The two fell out spectacularly. But many here believe that this son of a former prime minister of Sierra Leone has the proverbial political life of a cat. And that was our correspondent in Freetown, Umaru Fofana. And now